Get ready to make a plate. Hi, Marie here. Welcome to Pottery Crafters. You found video number 12 in our Beginner Pottery Wheel Project series. Today you'll learn how to throw, decorate, and glaze a plate. And yes, you'll see the finished piece. If you like what you see, please like the video. And if you want to support me or see new videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get a notification whenever I upload a video. Before we get started, here's a list of tools and supplies I use to make the plate, which will also be down in the show notes along with any other important information I may talk about throughout the video. The tools and supplies listed are only recommendations and items I use on a daily basis. I'm starting with the clay already centered. So if you're having any problems with centering your clay, you can check out the video up above. With that said, enjoy the video and make sure you stay until the end to see the finished piece. Let's get started. For this project, I have a pound and a half of Amico Stoneware 46 Buff Clay. After your clay is centered, press down and outward until you reach the desired width you want your base to be. Stop to check the thickness of your clay with the needle tool. A half an inch is good if you want to trim the bottom. I'm pushing the clay outward with the side of my right hand while holding a sponge and slowly squeezing the desired amount of water onto the clay so I don't have to take my hand off the clay as often. You want to pull the sides up before you bring them out. Removing small amounts of clay at a time helps to prevent gouging and ensures you don't take too much clay off the bottom. Compress the bottom, then smooth out the plate with the soft rim. Remove any extra clay on the bottom with the wooden modeling tool. Once it's leather hard, I'm making the foot with my loop and ribbon tools using the Giffen Grip. I found a hard lump, so I'll be careful to remove that first, so it doesn't rip off a clump of clay.
Once the plate is totally dry, it's time to bisque in my Skuck Kiln at cone 04. After the bisque, wipe your plate good with a damp sponge. You really don't want to skip this step because removing any dust particles helps the glaze bond better to the piece. Applying wax resist makes it easier to get any glaze off the foot. After the wax dries, it's time to glaze. I'm applying Amico Obsidian with the Wilson Mop Brush. Don't forget to mix your glaze well before applying. Pouring your glaze through a strainer is a great habit to get into. It catches any clumps of glaze or debris that may be lurking in your glaze. If you have any issues with glazing, my article on 27 glazing tips for beginners will help. I left a link for you in the description below. After the glaze is dry, I'm applying Amico Indigo Float with the Artist Soft Fan Brush. Load up the brush so the glaze glides right onto the plate. After it's dry, I'm applying a good amount of Amico Ancient Jasper and Amico Seaweed with the Seam Applicator. Once the glaze is totally dry and the foot has been wiped free of any glaze, back into my scut kiln it goes for the final firing at cone 5. 
Here's the finished plate. Plate turned out pretty good. No cracking, nice smooth rim. What do you think? Feel free to post any questions, comments, or even ideas for future videos in the comments below. Some of the best tips and feedback come from you. Also in the comments section are more show notes and pottery making info. I hope you've learned a thing or two to make your own plate. Check out my other videos from Pottery Crafters. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video comes out. I'll see you in the next video.